Greetings and welcome back to Ark on the Lost Island. In our last episode, we acquired the Artifact of the Strong. In this episode, I would like to acquire an equally important item. One that has surfaced along with the rare creature that actually carries it. One that I hope hasn't despawned in the meantime. Isn't that right, Batty? So what we're going to do is we're going to be going underwater. We're taking one old friend and three new friends that you haven't met yet. So that is actually what we're going to be doing. We're also going to go over to the South Island, the one just north of the uh, Scorched Earth area, and we're going to take a look at what I've been working on over there. Uh, we do have some other friends we need to meet, though. Oh, by the way... Okay, are you dan- Oh, you're dancing already. I think I already did that. She has a captive audience. All right, now, the first of our new friends... Uh, you might be able to figure out what it is when you take a look at Lance. And you'll notice he's looking very fiery today. He's also looking rather happy. Isn't that true? Yes, he is. Because we have Penny. Uh, myself and Bernadette were cruising around, and I like to keep an eye on the ground. And, of course, we saw Penny. She was with another female. We swept in, picked her up, dropped her in the cage, grabbed, went back, grabbed the other female, dropped it in the cage... Shot the other female in the face several times until it was dead. And after some convincing, Penny has decided to join us. Penny is 433, and I'm definitely thinking that these two need to get together. And we can start having some, uh, some family stuff going on. Let's just say that, right? Uh, because I do think we should start focusing on that. I think it'll make Lance much happier. At least the process will make you happy, right? Yep, yep, yep. That's what's going on there. Uh, she's actually really... She's got this uh, brown tint on her fur there. I would be very interested to see if the children get that. I want the green eyes, though. Anyway, now we also have this here. Um, okay, so this is Fred. We know Fred. Okay, I'm pulling out right now. Uh, now, I've made fun of Fred's coloring but it turns out Wilma here has the exact same coloring except where Fred is red she is blue and I do mean that completely so you can see here everything else is the same you got the green you got red here you got blue here if you look at the tail feathers red and he's got blue so they were a match and uh, basically we had to duel another Male Argentavis in midair, and of course Fred won because because he's the superior, and of course Wilma was very impressed by that, and of course you know after drugging her and starving her and stuffing more food in her, she decided the yeah that was a good idea. And let's just take a quick look. We actually got her at 290, which is higher than we did with you, by the way. So she might pass you in the meantime. Uh, and there has been some blessed events. So okay, so we have pebbles who is almost a duplicate of her mother, except the blue tail feathers. As a matter of fact, there are three daughters, and they all have blue tail feathers. Just like Daddy. Now, here we have a complete Daddy's girl. This is Bambette. She is literally a clone of her father. And then, of course, we have Judy, because I ran out of Flintstone names, and I skipped over to the Jetsons. Um, she's basically identical to um, Pebbles over here. So, it's a very colorful family. Now, my plan had been to use them to try to kill some wyverns so I could get in. The problem is now that both entrances are just infested with them. I mean, you look in and you see like a dozen or more swirling together. So, I mean, the only thing I can really do at this point would be to kill all the dinos on the server again. And I'm not going to do that. So, basically, Bernadette. But we'll find something for uh, you individuals to do. Other than being a happy family. All right, so one of our new friends is over here. Okay, excuse me. All right, so we have Barbara here on the right, and this is George. We found George wandering around, and if you look, they are getting along. you got the little hearts going on there. Oh, it looks like George can level, so why don't we just... Okay, all right, I got these guys all around me. Okay, I'm trapped. Oh, I'm trapped, and I... Okay, I have to slip out between these guys. Okay. All right, you know what? I need to do something about space. All right, uh, 
I'll hold on to that for you, Barbara. Oh, are you leveling too? Yes, you are. All right, why don't we do damage for you? And then we'll do... We'll do health here because he's a little bit behind in that. All right, and poof, there we go. Okay, so we do have two new friends, other friends, and they're waiting for us back at the, um, the base that I have been working on. I think that's about everything here, though. Uh, there is a new T-Rex, though. Uh, I decided to go back to Valeria. Um, yeah, try not to read too much into that. Because you know what it is? Is that they're all identical. They all look exactly like Conan. Except, of course, Valeria. She's got the green there, you know? So I was hoping to get something different. Unfortunately, we have Malik here. Over here, I believe, right? And... Um, yeah, he's identical. I mean, he doesn't rise to the level of a Subutai, so I gave him Malik. Um, yeah, very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Um, the, the ladies, though, uh, the descendants, the lady descendants, they took care of a task for me, is that there was an uh, Alpha Raptor down below. So I sent them to take care of it. I believe it was you? No, no, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. Okay, um, I think I just mounted... Nope, that's Conan. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh, let me get off. Let me get off. Okay, um, let me try to figure out a way off here. <laughs> okay, is it you? Ah, Martika, that's it. All right, she ended up getting a lot of levels from that. You can see her health is still pretty low, and her melee is very high. Matter of fact, I'll crank a little bit more there. So she ended up getting the kill. All right, let me just get over here without getting killed. All right, I'm going to slip in very carefully, quickly. And Okay, could you not step on happy there? It's very rude, very rude indeed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, Barbara, and we are going to go over to the island, and we're going to take a look at what's going on over there. Um, we are taking George with us, of course. Actually, you know what I should do? Let me get George over there first. Because there's a certain key I don't want to hit right now. Because it's an annoying key, uh, the J key. It's not a good one to hit. It has a very large range, and it means everything will be following me, and it'll just mess everything up. I have done that, and I don't want to repeat it. All right, so let's just get over here. All right, boom. Oh, there is one thing I would like to point out. All right, so obviously they're getting along. You can see the little hearts there. Um... If we go over to the Allosauruses, you know, basically they're getting along. I think there's a new one. I think Helen is new. I took another shot at um, Alice and uh, Big Al. It didn't really work out. By the way, there does seem to be some kind of a weird challenge thing going on here. Is that everybody seems to be the Alpha. I don't really know what's going on with that. But you know what? Let them work it out. Um, oh, yeah. And then, of course... Okay, well, obviously, stuff going on here. As a matter of fact, Barney somehow... Okay, no, pardon me. That is Jets and Betty. But I think Barney up there, too. Yeah, okay, where is it, Barney? Oh, he, I guess he's far enough away that it's not... Oh, no, no, he's got a, uh, a mate boost thing going on here. So, I don't know, maybe he's like... I don't know, have you imprinted on one of the daughters over there? Maybe Wilma it should tell something to... Uh, to uh, F uh, Fred, perhaps? I don't know. All right. Um, I want to make a point here. Okay, so now we have um, we have Lance, who is, of course, uh, mate boosted. And, of course, you have um, Penny, who's also mate boosted. I'd just like to bring this to your attention here. Dude, she's just not into you. She's an uptown girl. You're a backstreet boy. So, yeah, obviously Harriet is just not interested. Nope, nope. So what I might have to do is I might have to acquire someone that Harriet can actually be interested in. I noticed that there was a, uh, a 270 male over there on the ground. I might pick that one up for you. What would you say about that? I know what you would say about that. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. I'll take that as a yes. All right, hold on a second. Right, very strange, very strange indeed. 
Okay, so let's get going over to South Island. And uh, I do need to have amphibious individuals for this because of where I laid the, um, the teleporter. All right, uh, South Island. And then we can take a look at what I've been working on. Okay, uh, you two wait here. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so I have this big area here. Uh, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it. I am going to put docks down on both sides, though. And this is what I've been working on. So I got a raised platform here, and I got this. And this pretty much goes all the way around, except, of course, for this wall. I'm not quite done there yet. Um, I thought about using stone, but I decided to go with the wood because I think the wood is just, it looks a little better. All right, and this is what I have so far. Now, the big item I have over here is the, uh, the industrial cooker. And you can see that it is completely irrigated, 100,000 water. And as a matter of fact, it also has gasoline in it. Now, you'd use this one instead of using like the little campfire, the little cooking setup, you know, not really the campfire. Um, consumables, crafted foods, you can do all kinds of stuff. One thing that I really want is I want Lazarus chowder. The reason I want that is because it will reduce the consumption of oxygen underwater. So, oh, and I forgot the egg. I'm carrying the egg with me. All right, it shouldn't rot in the meantime. But once I put it in the preserving bin, it'll be much better. Um, anyway, that will reduce the drain on oxygen, even if you're wearing scuba. So that'll be good. And of course, I really do need to get into kibble production here. So this is going to make it easier because things will cook faster. Uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll get into dyes too. Uh, this area is going to be the kitchen. You can see I already have a refrigerator. This is really a preserving bin. I'm going to have to have a real fridge over here. And I'm going to want this powered. Now, in terms of the pipes, that was a little bit of a pain. Oh, by the way, this actually... Hold on a second. That actually works there. So that's, that's kind of cool. All right. All right. I will put the wall on. I'm going to have windows here, here, here. This is going to be a bathroom, by the way. And I'm going to have a door here because, after all, I'll probably do living room stuff over here and sleepy stuff over here. But, yeah, there will be a wall. Maybe I have air conditioning, but it'll be real air conditioning. All right, so basically the way it works is a pipe has to run underneath. So at first, yeah, I know this is kind of a mess. Um, I tried doing this. I figure if I just get the pipe over there, I can get it to where I want to get it. But it doesn't quite work out that way. Um, Actually, this is the good one. This is the one that I started with. Um, and then I made a turn. But as you can see, I actually have the capability of putting farm plots down here. And then I, I actually tried to go over there. But the problem is it was passing through like the middle of the, uh, the blocks over here. So it would only settle like in midair, I mean the cooker, or like jam it inside, which it wasn't working at all. So I decided to do it the opposite way. And I put the pipe down where I wanted it. And the pipe goes all the way through there, by the way. And I figured, you know what? I'll reach the ocean eventually. So that's kind of what I did. Um, even drilled through that, apparently. So uh, both are still useful because I'm going to put crops down here. I have crops over there. But having them a little bit nearer is probably a better idea. Oh, and yes, I do have a wall. No dinosaurs will be coming in here stealing my job, will they? Yeah, this opens up. There was a, uh, a trike who didn't want to leave, so I just kind of uh, picked him up with Bernadette and uh, helped him find his new home. No, I didn't drop him in the middle of the ocean. I very nicely put him down over there because he has some other trike friends. But I don't believe that they're going to be getting around. Anything that pops up in here in any other way, well, is going to die. All right, of course we know Bruce and Meg, but you might notice that there's something else sticking out of the water over here. And this is, we have two new friends. All right, so this is Lanny, a suggested name. And this is Bud. We actually found Lanny first, and we got Bud for uh, friendship and, of course, mate boosting. Oh, looks like somebody leveled. We'll go damage, after all. That's kind of what we got you for. How are you doing? No level? Nope, no leveling. All right, let's just get some oxygen. All right, so I am going to get on Lanny. And let's just see for a second. 
can um i don't want to confuse things let's just get yeah they are grease lightning in the water aren't they i'm i'm wondering which one is faster um the sarcos or the megalodons because these just seem to be really fast all right let me just get over here and let's go back and get bud his name is bud because i couldn't think of another name all right hold on a minute swimming so they're going to assist me in the acquisition of something okay you just leveled again okay i'm all right with that here have some damage all right yeah, I wonder which one is faster because they are just so fast in the water, aren't they? All right. Okay. I think that should be okay. What's going on here? Okay. Squeeze in there. All right. I think that should do the job. All right. So here's the thing. There is a location where I put down a teleporter. It's a temporary one. There is a, uh, a certain whale that spawned in the area. And the certain whale is actually an alpha. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't really change in health and power, but apparently if you kill it, you get three things. One is you get blubber, which is something you might need for a boss spawn. You get a bunch of it. Um, then we're also going to get a lot of prime... Uh, uh, fish meat, which is something I didn't have and would certainly have made taking them a lot easier because all I had for them was regular fish and it was like a minus 56 or something. So it was really painful taming them. Um, but there is another item and it's kind of the most important one. All right. Um, okay. Oh, you know what? Here in a sec. I'm going to have to get on. Here. Okay. Right there. All right. I'm hoping they're all going to come. All right. It's the uh, unnamed one reminds me i have to get that temp one up these things are expensive now i don't think there's anything dangerous in the area but just in case barbara okay um oh i see what it is we're going for all right so here's what we're gonna do all right now we're doing j now because there's only three other things in the area I saw a raptor over there. Was that a raptor or was that an Ovi raptor running from something? Oh, it's a whole bunch of terror birds. All right. Well, you know what? That's not my problem. All right. Let's see. Yes, I did remember. And in case I have to get off. All right. So let's go before it can escape. All right. So this, of course... Hold it a minute. Is the whale. It is also an alpha version. That's what makes it so precious. And uh, boy, are you in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, could somebody eat that, please? Okay, hold it a minute. Okay, she's probably going to get lo uh, loaded down, though. Uh, I'll take that. All right, we're good for you. All right, so let's go. Okay, what is that? A megalodon. All right, um, he's probably going to react when we do this, but... Okay, stay away from his mouth, just in case. All right, done. All right, so is everybody good? All right, who got the kill? I did not get the kill, but I got some of the raw prime fish meat. Um, but in the meantime, why don't we just uh, explore a little bit here, right? Oh, somebody wants to die. How tragic for you. I'm going to let them eat them from now on because I don't want to get overweight. But I'm going to have to uh, pay attention to that. Now, here's the thing. Going that way, there's actually an Alpha Megalodon. And I think it was like 33,000 health because it was actually fairly meaty. Uh, so 
that would obviously kill all of us, so I, I don't want to mess with that. So I don't want to go too far, if you know what I mean. All right, what do we have here? Oh, that's a Megalodon, all right. Yeah, the Sarcos are much faster than I am, which is the reason I'm not riding a Sarco, because I'd be having... Okay, you're hiding, aren't you? I mean, should we just leave him? Nah. I mean, he was trapped in a rock, so, I mean, it was mercy, wasn't it? Okay, what is that? Oh, a dunk. Is it aggro? I honestly, I don't know. It's aggro. Yum, 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 yum. How is your weight? Your weight is fine. All right. All right. I'm going to have to watch my uh, oxygen because... Hold on a second. Okay. No problem anytime soon. As long as I don't get hit. Because I only brought one with me. Okay. What do we have? Just megalodons? As long as they're just megalodons and they're not... Uh, oh, that's actually a tough one right there. What do you have here? Okay. As long as it isn't an alpha. Anything... Anything interesting around? Just megalodons? Okay, what is... Mantas, all right. Okay, we have multiples. Woo, stun! Eat them, eat them. Bye bye Stun. Eat him. Now, I don't know how far away I am from where we're supposed to be, but I figured we'll just look a little bit more. I don't know if I'm going to have a depth problem with Baryonyx or Sarko, so I don't want to go too deep. Uh, I certainly also... I don't know about running into a high-level Mosasaur. Hey, look, there's, um, oil. Well, I'm drowning in oil. I'm in oil barren over there in the uh, scorched earth area. Yeah, lots of oil. Manta? I mean, it's, if it doesn't bother us... Okay, I guess they just decided to eat it. I'm okay with that. It probably said something to them. What is that? Oh, that's just one of those little fish. What I would really like to get is a Basilosaurus. I even have an Ascendant Saddle for it because it's fast moving, it can't be stunned, it can't be grabbed by those naughty tentacled individuals, and, uh, it's what I would like to do to explore. Uh, the problem is I have yet to find a good situation, but uh, that's kind of... Okay, someone wants to die. Hey, as long as they know how to kill mantas, it'll make the Basilosaurus hunt a lot easier, right? That's one of the reasons I want to stay underwater for a long period of time, too. So I am preparing for that. Uh, there was a really good spawn of one, too. It was a 280, but it was right next to the Alpha Megalodon. So there's two others over there, too, but they're right next to the Alpha Megalodon, which is really kind of annoying. All right, so let's go back up. It doesn't look like there's anything down here but Manta and... Uh, of course, megalodons. I have no idea how far away I am from our teleporter. Is there anything over here? That's the great thing about it. We could just jump on the surface and kill things if we wanted to. I don't think that this is where we were. No, don't kill the dolphins. 
Okay, I think I traveled longer than I wanted to. All right, hold on. Where is it? Is not, I, I guess maybe we traveled a while. Unless it's over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, is there anything... Yeah, unfortunately, on ground, they're nowhere near as fast as the Baryonyx, are they? All right. I need to check some stuff out here. Oh, 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 oh. first of all, somebody leveled. Oh, somebody leveled a couple of times. I'm guessing you got the kill. Although I don't see the item on you. Uh, but I'm also going to start grouping this stuff up because I do... How did you get chitin? Maybe the dunk had chitin? I don't know. I don't know. All right. All right. And that, of course, was Lanny. All right. Let's see here. Uh, someone got the kill. Oh, yes. Yeah, someone got the kill. Okay. So we got a recipe. Okay. Hello. Ouch. What did you break? He broke my hat. How very mean. Thank you, my friends, for protecting me. Now, I was checking you out. You got the, uh, the blubber. And you got the captain's hat skin. And let's just take those. Okay, you didn't get any more of the, uh... Okay, Barbara. Okay, George. I'm hoping that you have more of the prime. Hold on a minute here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, but that's not really that terrific, is it? Oh, wow. You got a lot of um, fish meat. We're going to have to... Yeah, I'm guessing the dunk actually has chitin in it? I didn't know that, but... I mean, that's the only explanation I could think of, right? All right, so I think everybody is gathered around the porter. It's under there, right? I don't even remember. Uh, oh, there it is, right here. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me get on Barbara. Because they're all following Barbara. All right, let's get over here. I'm pretty sure everybody's in range. All right, so let's do this. Uh, not quite that. Hold on. There we go. All right, let's go back to uh, South Island. So we can drop these two off. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Oh, that's right. I'm where I was wondering why I was moving so slowly because I had that on. Oh, did that get damaged or was that just me wearing it? Well, you know, I have plenty of um, facility to repair it. Lots and lots, thanks to beavers, right? All right, so what I want to do is I want you, this is Lanny. All right, follow me and then don't follow me. All right, and then I'm going to point at you, and you're going to follow Lanny. All right. There we go. Yeah, it takes them a while to get in the water, but then they're good. You know, I shouldn't have taken these off just yet. Because otherwise it would have been a long swim. Yeah, a fly. There we go. And now I'm going to take those off. I'll have to fix my hat. Okay, so let's go back because I have to give something to somebody. Uh, crafting base. Okay, I'm just going to uh, put you over here. Okay, do you still have the rest of that? You do. Okay, so it's 60. We have 60. Um, that's right, he did some killing there. I should say she did some killing there, right? All right, I'll worry about everything else they have later. George, just park it in there. You can keep following her, that's fine. All right, oh, hold on a minute. All right, because we'll turn that off too. All right, because I want to put this in the fridge in case I ever need it. 
right here. Boom, right in there, just in case. And you might as well take that too. Oh, oh, the egg. I forgot all about the, uh, the egg. Right, I can start going crazy with kibble here. I mean, in terms of, where are the T-Rex eggs? I have 12 T-Rex eggs. I have four Allosaurus eggs and then the Argentavis eggs. So I can start going crazy with kibble. However, there is one thing that I want to do. Um, I think I actually have... Where is it here? It's in the armor, right? I have to fix this area over here. And I have to fix that hat, too. Let's see. Oh, yes. I knew I had one. There we go. And then... Guess what I'm going to do with that? Okay, he's got the crazy skull. But Penny is going to have the captain's hat. Yes, today's mission was all about making Penny look even more awesome than she is. Isn't she awesome there? He knows it. Of course he knows it. Anyway, I think that that's going to be it for now. Uh, so, yeah, that, um, that whale, the alpha version, of if you kill him, you get the... Um, Oh, it's moving now. How wonderful. You get the captain's hat skin. So you can just like put that on her. And of course, he also drops the blubber. As you can see, uh, it's a trophy. I do believe it's for one of the bosses. So if it surfaces, you go and you get it, right? I think you could probably get that off the regular one. But the alpha one, that's the one that'll actually drop the hat. So, oh my goodness, I need a haircut. You can tell when I'm not wearing my cool Mad Max hat. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Uh, if there's any suggestions, I'm actually open to them. And otherwise, I will uh, come up with something. If I can find a Basilosaurus, that's something I really want to do because I'm almost there. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.